So, putting bushings and a leaf spring on John's 92YJ Jurassic Park project. You guys have seen me on a video before. I've helped over here before. And we didn't want to go out and try to find all the right things to do things. And we're kind of stubborn, so we're going to do it our own way. Saskatchewan roots. Yes. And, uh, Farm wood. So, this is us. We're going to, we've already done a few and they worked out well. So we decided that since we feel cocky about it, that we're going to show you guys on film now and you guys can see what we're trying to accomplish and what we are going to accomplish. So we got parts and pieces. This is out of a ball joint press. And then we went to Princess Auto for you guys in the US. And you guys know what that is, but it's a little store that we have up here. And we found some stuff that's hard and metal and they're kind of a bushing thing. And we're going to use them. Some ready rod, some bolts, some washers, an impact wrench, a little bit of blaster for a little bit of lubricant, and, um, that's and a hammer. And a hammer. So, this is the bushing that has to go on this side. They got to be pressed in through here. Uh, the front ones ain't like that, but like a two piece are really easy. But these ones here have to be pressed in. So, this is what we come up with. So, we're going to get a little bit of lube. Everybody likes a little bit of lube. Get it on like that, just like you're cooking something. Just think that's like uh, that non-stick ham spray you're cooking something. And uh, we're gonna extend our rod through. You guys can see that when you can. Extend our rod through. Because what I want to do is I want enough space on the other side for this and for this. So we're gonna extend it all the way through. Are you extending your rod right now, Bernie? I'm extending my rod right now. No, this is a kid's show. It's kind of dirty. So, what I want to do put on here though is I want to put a bigger washer on here for more support stability. Put that through. Get rid of our rag now because we've stopped making messes. Oh, yes, it's completely done. And we're going to be doing this and that. See how that goes together. That's just dumb luck how that fit together. Like and that. then. What I want to do is I'm going to back that down because I just want to get enough threads on there after I put this washer on and one nut flush with the end of that ready rod like that. The reason being is when you start, you don't get enough thread on there, you're just going to strip that nut and you're going to wreck your ready rod, which you can cut off and you can grind, make it smooth and you can still reuse it. But also, the sock is only going to suck that in so far and you want to get this in in one shot if you can without adjusting this. Here we go. Adjust this up. Let's turn this this way a little bit. Like that so you guys can kind of see. Make sure you're square on there the best you can so around that area there you want to be straight in like that. You're ready rod, you want to finger tight, hand tight before you start. Um, impact wrenches, I've already made the mistake today of leaving it on reverse and then screwing up my whole setup so make sure it's on forward. And uh, you guys can watch, okay, well, as we do this, try to keep my arms out of the way, I'll go on this side actually. And you guys can see, so here we go. And you see here, See how it bottomed out, and, can, and I can keep going, but then you're only getting half the nut. So just stop a second, back that off a little bit, just like that. And all you gotta do is adjust it, just like that, so it's far to go. Bring your other bolt in, or your other nut, sorry. And like that, as you can tell, you see how far we're coming in, we're getting pretty close. Make sure you're lined up again. You don't got much to go, so. So you could use yeah. a similar technique to remove them as well, couldn't you? Exactly, exact same technique, as long as your washer is the same diameter as your bushing, and it'll slide through inside of here, the diameter inside of here. Yeah, the find was these driveline components at Princess Auto. It really was. These were the find, because they're, they're buckets of them, all in different sizes, and you just pick the one you like, and they're about six bucks. Yep. Ready rod, here we go. See, I left it on reverse again, you see? And then just put that on reverse. Take our stuff out. And there's your bushing, it's in place. Ta-da! We're good to go. So, 
Guys up there, I know you guys probably got your own ways of doing things like that, and maybe even better. If you do, please share your comments with John. But this is what we came up on a Saturday morning when we were up late last night and really don't feel like working today. So have a great day, guys. Thank you.